Rich, you've got the, the one-point victory again. Um, how pleased are you with the fact that the, the boys found a way to win that one tonight after the, the way your backs were against the wall in that first half? Yeah, I, I just think that's the main thing. That that we found, you know, we found a way to win. I thought there would have, you know, a marked uh, sort of stark contrast between our first half performance and our second half performance. I felt, I thought we we started the game very, very ordinary, very ordinary, both in attack and defence. Uh, don't think it improved it improved much in attack right throughout the half. I, I thought, I thought with the injection of our bench. Uh, Dono and, and Brad Dwyer I thought our defence actually in the first half after the opening sort of 15 minutes I actually thought we defended pretty well because um, we spent the first half playing off our try line you know when we had an half decent set uh, defensively you know we took the kicker out for a penalty uh, we gave some offsides on kick chases some real poor little discipline areas which when you when you're playing conditions like this um you know playing field position and territory is very important and i just felt huddersfield did it just miles better than us we were so far away but but i think if we hadn't have defended quite well um i think it 10-0 were it at half time i think 10-0 could have looked uh, a lot different a little bit disappointed with the, the penalty goal to push it up to 10 i know our guys were asked the question do you need another marker in uh, and our guy says, no, we, don't, we only want to go with one marker, um, which he said, fine, then subsequently penalised him, which we're trying to work that one out. Um, but having said that, uh, half-time probably probably were good for us. You know, seven, eight minutes to go, we were like, Jim, we need to get to half-time here. Uh, and half-time were really good for us just to say, look, um, if we're going to come off as try line all night, it's going to be, be a tough night, but we need to play with a little bit more shape uh, we need to be prepared, even in the conditions, to pass the ball and change some angles and, and move the ball a little bit. Nothing needs to be too much at the line. And be prepared to play a little bit of field position in the knowledge that if you spend enough time down there, you're going to get one or two opportunities. I know we had an opportunity in the first half, but great bit of play by Richie Myler, putting Ash Anley in, although it were a forward pass. Um, but again, I did think we defended really, really well. Uh, and again, big, big impact from our bench. Couple of plays in there. Alex Sutcliffe bending his back off the kickoff and, and forcing an error were a massive play for us. Uh, and James Donaldson, four week out with a broken back and comes in and, and just bends his back and, you know, come up with so many dominant tackles for us in the middle of the field. I thought, I thought the way he came back, Brett Ferris after such a long time out as well, you know, good to get Connie back. So yeah, I thought, I thought we had a terrific impact from our bench guys. You see, they're a lot more intent after that slow start. What what do you put that start down to? Because it was very, it was, as you said, it was very off. Uh, tough one. Well, the, the easy one for me to throw up is at 6.30 tonight, we weren't quite sure what our team were going to be. Uh, but we probably, I, I probably more pay tribute to the opposition that I thought played a really controlled Kick chase well, vigorous, and and I said we thought we were off. I don't think it was a lack of effort, Matt. I don't I don't think we were off in effort. I just think it was uh, some little discipline areas and 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 more some concentration. And you know we, we we probably got rattled a little bit coming off our try line like we did. And you know the bigger picture on that mate is it takes away a lot of your energy. So when I'm talking about shape and passing the ball. And we want out carries. You got to get a bit of energy to get into shape and talk, and you know all that unseen off the ball stuff. Which you know when you uh, when you're defending your own try line and coming off your own try line, it has a fair old impact on you. You mentioned the disruption. Uh, obviously, saw the team news and the statement from the club. Just sort of talk us through how how hectic the last I'm assuming 24 hours, 36 hours have been for you preparing for this game. Yeah, well. Well, obviously, we were called off last week, weren't we, due to uh, COVID reasons. I think we've had three three off now already. Um, we had a player who had a family member that, that weren't so good, had some symptoms. And so, nine o'clock yesterday morning, uh, the player and his, uh, and his family member went out there to get tested. The track and trace then comes into it. And over training, you know, over training over the past week, it rubbed out another six of our players 
Um, look, not all of them were, were due to play tonight, but some of them might have played given the, the withdrawals that we had to. Um, so because you're not allowed to have your secondary tests through, um, you know, through the, the, the firm and the lab that does our tests, we had to go for a, an individual dependent national health one. I think the national health at the moment, obviously there's been a, a spike in cases and they get, they get your results back in 48 hours, but we'd got 24, 36 hours to try and get this test back. Um, we had an email, we had a phone number. Uh, the guys that were, uh, you know, isolated and, until we got the test back, drove over tonight, hoping in the hope that, you know, they all feel great. It were only a precaution. Drove over tonight in the hope that this email were going to land uh, before 6.30, but obviously we had to put a team together, a contingency team, if you like. I won't call it the A team and the B team, or they'll get me in trouble a little bit. But we had to put a contingency team together. Uh, we were hopeful we would get the email back. Um, if it were a positive test, they were down anyway. If it were a negative test, um, they were all good to go. Uh, but, you know, the time we had to hand our team sheet in, that, that test result didn't come. And uh, so we had to make, you know, we had to make a number of changes. How, how difficult was it to plan knowing that you might have two different teams out effectively going into the same game? <laughs> it's, just, it's just where we're at at the moment. I mean, we're not the only club. I think everybody's preparation is being heavily impacted. I think Cass have played a couple of games where the fixtures switch late. You know, we've had postponements. Uh, teams have had to stand players down. Wakefield have stood players down for not having a GPS. It, look, at the moment, this is just where we're at. The league table is going to be done in a different way. So, so it, it's just where we're at, given everything what's going on. We're not going to complain. We're going to get our, you know, we're going to get a team out as much as we can to keep the game going, keep us on the field, and we'll, we'll absolutely do our best and adapt to any situation we need to. And uh, with you know complete respect to you know the the current situation with COVID and and what's going around, it's just it's just unfortunately the way it is. Does it affect preparation? My word, it, will it affect every team in some way this year? I think it will. I think we're already seeing that. But it's important we just try and you know we try and keep the game going. Just finally for me, I think Ava played the first twelve minutes. Yeah, came off, didn't come back on. Is he? Is he injured? Is he okay? Or was it was it no, just a tactical thing? No, we 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 just felt uh, again rolling around on our interchanges. There, there were a point where, you know, we we think Arva, you know, on a on a on a top day, and depending on how the game goes, Arva's yeah, you know, probably got a twenty minute stint into him. We were running out of subs at some point to get him back on and take him back off. If that makes sense, Matt, we needed to get him back on early, and we knew that I'd chew a sub up. Uh, we put Brad Dwyer on really early, so we always thought there was a chance that we might need to pull Brad and, and get Cruz back in there. Um, and we just felt probably Donald, Bodine, probably Mikuletsky, just give us a little bit more mobility in the middle. You know, they were turning the ball back under. It was a field position game. Um, and probably at times... You know, not the best day for us big fellas and, and very conscious that we were chewing our bench up, mate, too. And, and we were very uh, worried about, you know, getting him on there if we didn't have the ability to get him off at some point. So, um, so yeah, look, he, he needs to just keep chipping away uh, physically and he will. Uh, I thought he had a really good game for us last week and, you know, moving down the track. You know that those situations will change, and unfortunately, sometimes that just happens with a, you know, with a rotation of your bench.